Hi, this is Tammy Hewlett with Swimming in Stamps, and I am back for my online class to teach the month of March. We are going to use the download Blossoms Abound and focus on the freeform tool. So, got some fun things to learn today. So, the first thing I'm going to do is fill in my background, and I'm going to go up to the resource palette and select Browse. If you uh, want to find your Blossoms Abound, it's under Designer Kits, so you have to actually click on Designer Kits and then scroll down to find Blossoms Abound. And then we're going to go down to paper number seven. Now if you're like me, you stuck some paper temporarily into this photo box in the back, so you've got to hit delete first. So click on it and hit delete. Then you can drag in the number seven designer series paper. Okay, so now that that's done, make sure that your mat is correct on your um, inside piece of paper. So go in and it should actually, I think, be on two and it should be Smoky Slate. So go ahead and select that and hit OK. Actually, I think now that I look at this that it's supposed to be one, so go back and fix that. Okay, um, now the rest of this is fairly easy till we get to the freeform part, so I'm going to go just kind of go over that quickly. The first thing we're going to do is go over to the resource palette and select embellishments. That's the little flower. And if you haven't selected uh, Blossoms Abound yet, again, you can find it under Designer Kits. So go ahead and open that up. I already have it open. And then if you go to the bottom, you're going to find this yellow wash. Drag that in. That goes on the bottom. And then we're going to uh, go get the wreath. That's just one click above. Kind of center that over your uh, calendar. If it's a little big, you might have to reduce it a teeny bit. Mine was. Um, and I always like to add a drop shadow to something like that. So go ahead and do that. Then we're also, since we're over here in embellishments, we're going to pick up this banner. This goes across the, we're going to put our title on that. So just uh, go ahead and ignore this error message that you're going to get because it's not going to pixelate that much. We're not, uh, sizing it up that big. Um, and then go ahead and add like a 50% drop shadow on that one. I'm going through this quickly because these are all things we've done before. Um, next is to go to your stamps and again hit browse, select Blossoms Abound. It's going to be under your designer kits. And this time we are going to go down and find the earth laughs in flowers. Let's see, it's right here. Drag that over and center it over your wreath. And we're going to color this. So the way you do that is come over to the Design Center and select Coloring Tool. That'll bring up this menu and you're going to want to increase, hit the zoom, plus so that you can increase it and kind of see what you're doing. Um, I, oh, before, actually hit cancel. And the first thing you want to do is change the color of the whole thing to Smoky Slate. This will make it a lot easier. Then go into the coloring tool, increase it. We're just going to color one part of this. So let's uh, color the word flowers with um, strawberry slush. So that's right here where my pointer is and it'll tell you the color when you point on it, hover over it. Then you can just go through and color that one stamp. Now if you need to increase the size of your brush, you can do that right here. You can see that makes it really big or if you want a little bit more control. I had mine at about 20 when I did this. 
When you're all finished, just hit OK. And there you go. Now what I'm going to do at this point is select my um, layers under the resource palette and I'm going to stick that stamp behind this banner because you can see that a little bit of it overlaps right there and I didn't want it to be on top. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the stamps in the resource palette and we're going to pick up this little swirl and we're going to color that uh, smoky slate as well and kind of size it down a teeny bit so that it fits and drag it over um, maybe a little bit more yeah about right there okay then back over to the embellishments and we're gonna bring over two flower embellishments we got one, um, looking to see if I size that down. I think I did a little bit. You're going to want to size both these down and add a drop shadow. So you might as well bring them both in over here at the same time. And you can kind of rotate those so they don't look exactly placed. I always like to do that a little bit. And then what you can do is hit control highlight both of them at the same time and you can add a drop shadow to both of them right at the same time. Okay, so that's all the basic stuff. Now what we want to do is write this March, March, March um, that goes along the banner. And so this is how I did this. I, I did it with a text box and a freeform line. So go over to freeform under the design center and click on add a line then the, you'll get this pop-up menu and you're going to want to highlight it first so it knows what you're talking about and then click um, starter lines so we want to find something that's kind of a, you know shaped like this so a little bit of a wave so I went with this one wave one now we're gonna have to do a little bit of tweaking because obviously this line is waving way too much so I'm just gonna move these little points until I get to the line that I want and you may need to do a little manipulating on this it's it might take a little bit of work um, but it's just a matter of playing around a little bit so I think what I want is for it to start let's see I'm kind of watching this as I'm doing this um, trying to mimic the shape and if you if you finish and you don't like it you can easily go back and correct it. So let's just hit OK at that point and then kind of size it down and put it over the banner and see how close we got. Now it's still dipping a little too much so what I'm going to do is double click on it so I can keep manipulating it a little bit more. So I want it to be a lot shallower and you just kind of keep playing until you get it right. So let's try it again. That's getting a little closer because what I want it to do is go right along the bottom of this. So I'm going to dip this down a little bit. Look again. Okay. Now I want this to come down. And you can see I'm getting closer and closer to what I, I want. And when you're finally happy, I'm just going to stop at this point, but you can see what I'm going to do so that eventually you want it to go right along the bottom of this banner. So that's the, the hard part, the manipulating. All right, next thing I'm going to do is add a text box. So I'm going to hit text and add a text box. And I'm just going to type in March three times and highlight it and Go over to alignment and select center and then I'm going to select a font 
Um, it's Jonda Happy Day. 